Hey guys and welcome to my channel and to this video. For today I have another what I think is a fun painting idea and I did make my sketch earlier. There is a link down in the description box so the sketch is available for you to download. For tracing I used graphite paper and then when finished with the tracing I just used needed a razor to pick up the excess graphite. Afterwards, I've just sprinkled just a clean water. I was using quite a large brush because I do want those sprinkles to go all around and to be in a larger blotches. And afterwards, I've picked up a little bit of the yellow and tapped in on the top of my basket and then sprinkled some of the same yellow and with a mix of violet. And I think that's something like a burnt sienna. I've made this color that's something between pink and violet and it's also quite not so vibrant not screamy i did wanted these colors here to be a little bit pastel and a little bit more toned down i would say that and to paint in the metal part of the bicycle also the bike the seat for the bike i've painted in brown and added a little bit of blue to my mix of uh, colors that violet color to paint in the that gray metal and that's basically it i am painting on top i'm not really trying to be careful and try to keep within the borders of what i drew for my bicycle that's just i am but not really if even if my lines are wiggly that's fine if i go a little bit outside that's also fine this is a looser painting so don't don't be so much bothered to paint in the perfect lines also as you can see those parts where i did add some sprinkles with a clean water there are bleeding outside of the borders of the bike that i drew that's also fine that is the reason why i did do those sprinkles and what i actually want and for the tires i'm painting them also brown but you can paint them again any color you like i did not want to paint them black because it they would be standing out too much from the entire painting so i decided to paint them in a brown color which i also used for the basket and which i also used for the seat so i did wanted one cohesive look and all of those colors to be samely toned down and i don't want any color to stand out too much Now also just adding in some details where I see fit, adding a little bit of that violet color on the lower part of the lines just to make it look as though there are some shadows and maybe, you know, a little bit more of the interest to, to those parts to make a little definition of those shapes. Now with this brush with a very, very thin pointy tip, I'm adding in those metal again wires how they're called i'm not sure how they're called in english to the wheels of my bike and then a little bit more splatters with green i will also pick up some of the green to add it even more on the lower part and again i'm not really trying to paint grass or the ground in is in entirety just going around those wheels of my bike and adding some color to make it look it's not like it's not floating somewhere but it is sitting on some ground so also added a little bit of the sprinkles in a brown color and now while the paint is still wet and on some parts actually as you can see on my basket some parts are wet some parts aren't if your basket is fully wet maybe leave it to dry completely wet a little bit one part and then start doing what i'm doing i've added a little bit of just topped in i wasn't really trying to paint any flowers any shapes as you can see those parts that were wet the paint was bleeding a little bit more that's fine it looks like it's a little bit out of focus and the part that was dry those tabs are a little bit more sharper and that's also fine i've tapped in that again violet color and some green color yellow and painted in the basket in that brown as i was saying earlier right now the paint is starting to dry for the flowers so i've picked up this brush with a pointy tip and adding a couple of details to it just to make it just to make it look as flowers to add a little bit of the shape and i'm just 
painting it as I go, looking what I see fit is needed on my painting, so that is what I add. If I see that I do need a little bit more details in one part, I add those details in that part. As right now, I'm just painting in the shadows on the bike, so some parts are a little bit darker, some parts are a little bit lighter on those metal parts, because some are in shadows. And also same thing as for the wheels of the bike, some parts are in shadows, so I'm just adding a little bit more of detailed shadows to that part also and right now with the white gouache I was lacking some white in part of my flowers I was looking at them they were just too dark to me and I did wanted to add a little bit of the highlights so that I topped in some white gouache on top and afterwards I added a little bit of the inking ink pen and that's something that is optional. If you want to add it, you can add it. If you don't want to add it, don't. This is a very, very thin ink pen, so those lines aren't really screaming out. If your ink pen is dark, is uh, thicker, maybe don't press it too hard, press it a little bit slightly, and maybe um, tilt it slightly on the side, and that is how you might get a little bit thinner lines, because I didn't want those lines to be very very thick i didn't want it to be them to be subtle just to add them here and there and you can see i did not go over all of my bike and all of the flowers and everything to add in the lines just here and there to add some shape to it and also decided to add a little bit of the blue color on top just to make it just to make it not white off white that's actually the reason and it's barely visible but it does have a little tone that white now has a little tone and with that i'll be finishing off this painting and this video thank you guys a lot for watching for all your support i do really appreciate that a lot if you do like this video please hit the like button share it comment if you haven't still please do subscribe to my channel that really mean a lot to me maybe consider joining my channel that would also be awesome and again, thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.